Good morning and welcome to Tricks of the Trade and we got some extra music playing this morning. I don't know where that came from. Didn't even from. sound like Christmas at all right then. <laughs> but, not uh, at all, not at welcome all. Welcome everybody to Tricks of the Trade. I'm here with Mr. Jimmy Duke. And, yes, uh, sir. How are you this morning? We got an hour of uh, do's and don'ts and whatnots and why don't you and we'll get this all done within an hour so, you know. Glad yeah, you're will. with us this morning. Yeah, it's going. It's going to be a uh, an interesting day. It was an interesting night, that's for sure. Yeah, got a little, uh, got a little rumbling a lot yeah, last night. It got loud and got bright and uh, got breezy all at the same time. In fact, it's still a little breezy this morning. But uh, you know, we go, we go, we were uh, we were able to dodge the bullet here in in uh, most of West Tennessee, upper Northwest Tennessee. I think got a got a pretty good hit up around Union City, but. Folks in Kentucky really, really took it on the yeah. chin. Yeah, Last that's... number I saw was 50, I believe, uh, confirmed oh. deaths so far. Ooh, so, I didn't even know that. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty tough. But we shall carry on. You've got a lot of props on you today, so we're going to learn some more, some uh, more things. Uh, we're going into Christmas giving today. All right. Hey, what, tis what you the got, season. You what, know? what you got to, you know, I hadn't even started yet. <laughs> and 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 that's okay. That's just the way I roll, you know. But oh, yeah. uh, but uh, you know, we're going to talk about some practical stuff today, and the gift that just keeps on giving, and uh, that everybody ought to have around the house. So, you know, we'll get into that after a while. Right now, we just uh, want to remind everybody to pick up the phone and give us a call this morning. The text lines open. The lines are open. Four two three eight one zero one. Right, that's the phone line number. Yeah. And uh, two text lines available to you this morning: seven three one four one zero seven five six zero or seven three one two seven seven five one five five. Somebody told me the other day I gave the numbers too quickly, so I'm slowing it down. Well, that's good. <laughs> Give us a call. We need to hear from you this morning, and uh, let us know if uh, if you had any any uh, any storm related information to pass along to us. And we've got one blinking over here on the uh, phone line already. Let's push this right there and do that. And good morning. You're on with John Allen. Good morning. This is J. B. Wood calling from Lexington. Uh, I live in the rural area out towards Nancy Trace. A lot of damage. There's no power. No electric power. Whoa. And my brother's already told me there's none in Lexington either. Wow. I have, had not heard that earlier this yeah. morning, no. And uh, uh, where I live, my neighbor, part of his house is gone, and an old barn that, uh, I mean, it's hard and hardly used anymore, but it's gone. And uh, another neighbor, uh, he's got a house. I've got two trees down, and I've got... Uh, some minor damage on my house that can that can be repaired, but uh, well, that's no, no, no nobody, nobody, nobody hurt on your property then. No, 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 no. good, I, good I, deal. I, And I'm, I, I haven't been to Lexington, but I already, so I done called a friend up there, and he said there was no fire up there, and uh, you know, and uh, I tell you what, uh, no fire, no convenience stores open, everything, and uh, I was going to go by the bank and get. Get me some money this morning out of my account, and hell, I can't. You know? <laughs> that's, that's true, man. I'm telling you, we can't do anything without uh, without an internet or a I electric. I called my brother and said I need to borrow some money from him. He said he didn't have none either. <laughs> oh man, well, oh, not not a good uh, not a good situation. But you know, you don't expect this. No, you don't. You really don't. No, you don't. No. Oh, well, listen. I appreciate appreciate yeah, you listening. Right. Number one, but appreciate the update on. Uh, uh, on Lexington and uh, over in over in Henderson County, and uh, maybe they'll get that back up and running here pretty quickly. Hope so. Thanks for letting us know. It's got another call, here, right. John. Let's see what's what's on this other one. You want to grab it? Yeah. Here? Okay. Good morning. And welcome. Hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning, Jimmy. How y'all doing? Great, good, man. Good. Hey, I have a uh, a question for John. I guess. Okay. Okay. I uh, I decided to clean my house with a half bleach, half water mixture on my siding, and it worked really well until to my blue shutters. And uh, now I'm replacing my blue shutters. Mm. Uh, what what do I use to clean white vinyl siding that will not discolor plastic or vinyl shutters? The thing that I have uh, used with the most success is a product called TSP. 
TSP. That's trisodium phosphate. It's a powder. You mix it with warm water to get it to dissolve. And you can brush it on, mop it on, uh, let it set, and then rinse it with cold water. Uh, I buy mine at just about any paint store around here. Just tell them you want a box of TSP, and it's very inexpensive. And uh, the thing you got to watch on TSP, and it's the only thing, is you have to rinse it with cold, clear water uh, because it will leave a little white residue if you don't rinse it off. But uh, that's the best thing i found to use. Off? Sir? Can you spray it on like with a garden sprayer type thing? You can. You can mix it up and spray it on, but you know to get the best results, uh, either use it with a pressure washer or you know a, a mop uh, to where you can you know rub it a little bit if it's really dirty. But it will not hurt your plants around the house. It won't change the color of anything, and uh, it won't burn your siding like bit bleach does and turn it yellow. Okay. Uh, will it work with like mildew on it as well? Yes, it will. Okay. How long do you have to let it sit? Ten minutes. Okay. There's nothing to it, but I, I normally, you know, if you're going to do it on a house, say, by the time you get to the other end of the house, just come back and start uh, uh, rinsing it down. And uh, or if you, if it's really, really dirty, you may have to just take an old sponge mop or something to go over it. But uh, that's all you'll need to do. Yeah, it's two story house, so some of the places. I can't get to with a mop, so I just want to wonder about spraying it if it yeah. would be okay. You can spray it. Uh, it'd be fine, and, and a pressure washer works real good with it. Good deal. Hey, thank you so much for your time. All right. Thanks for calling. Hey, appreciate the call, John. We got uh, we got calls. Uh, we got a, a call festival going on. That's here, good. So That's good. All let's, right. Uh, let's grab this one. Remind everybody before I punch this call in here, we are streaming live on WNWS.com, 101.5. Uh, on Facebook, excuse me, not to, yeah, the Facebook 101.com. And um, also, it'll be archived. The show will be archived later on y'all, leave the apostrophe out, please, dot com. Uh, about uh, mid morning, something like that, John? Yeah, he said yes. Okay, so you'll be able to see it later if you if you want to go back and, uh, and see what's going on. Let's go to the phone lines right now. Good morning, and welcome to Tricks of the Trade. Hey, good morning. How are y'all? We're doing good. good. What's going on? Hey, good. Just want to give another update, Lexington. I heard the gentleman earlier. Um, he's right out north, Texas Trace area. Lots of damaged trees down, barns and such. But I'm I'm in town now. There is power in town as much as like red lights are working. There's you know Walmart's open, Burger King, Dairy Queen. A um, lot of traffic in town, but there's a lot of damage um, on the outskirts of of the county. Mm. Well, I'm glad to, you reported that, and uh, hope nobody got hurt, but uh, had not heard that we had that damage that close by this morning, so thanks for calling in. Yeah, sure. Take care. All right, okay. you too. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. Yeah, they uh, they must have got a, a dose of it over that way. Yeah. I, I was watching it on uh, on uh, two different local feeds last night, one, one on the Internet and one on TV, and and uh, I think uh, I do remember a cell coming through when the when the sirens went off here. There was a possible tornado in the southeast corner of Madison County, and going northeast. So that may be what uh, what got uh, got them over in Henderson County. That must have what woke up Fuzzbutt this morning. Yeah, it it went off for a little while. And yeah, yeah. Once it moved out of the area, they shut him down. So. Well, you know, we'll find as it gets lighter outside. Well, we'll find out other things that are going on, so yep. people can call in and alert everybody. But uh, hopefully, um, we don't have any fatalities around here. Yeah, for sure. You know, we we have three great sponsors here on on the show every Saturday morning. And if you've had any damage around your house, these guys can help you out. They sure can. Yeah, especially now. The first thing I looked at when I left the house this morning. I backed up a little bit so I could see the south fence, and then I saw the north fence when I left, and they're still standing there. Yeah. And that's the one that West End Fence Company put up for me. Didn't break a post off, Didn't huh? break a post off. Didn't even knock the wreath off the off the wall. Hmm. So, How about that? Yeah, we had some pretty strong winds out my direction. My house faces west, so I get the brunt of it on my bedroom window yeah. when we get hard rain like that. But West End Fence Company... 
uh, did a great job with that one, and uh, I know they've worked for you for many, many years with oh, all yeah. kinds of fencing, not just your basic wood fence around your house. Oh, that's right. They uh, they put up chain link, wrought iron, barbed wire, uh, wooden fencing like they did at your house. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll do vinyl fencing. They'll do just about anything that uh, uh, that if you want something kept in the yard or you want something that kept out of the yard that's right. either, it works both ways that's right they don't charge you any extra for that's that that's right that two way service that's <laughs> right but yeah we're glad to have them as a sponsor this morning they're local and they know what they're doing they're out here on Hollywood Drive so uh, if you need something done around your house uh, call West End Fence Company and what's that phone number over there Jim it is 731 have to have that nowadays remember that 668-5959 or you can go online and uh, the sales department is R Pennington 1 the number 1 R Pennington 1 at yahoo.com there you go Yahoo. Yahoo. Not woohoo. Woo-hoo. No, no, it's Yahoo. It's, Yahoo. I'm pretty sure it's Wahoo. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yahoo's, Yahoo's after you get your old fence torn down and the new one put up. That's right. Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> or you trying to get <laughs> trying to get grandma's attention? Oh yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, <laughs> we're out of cake. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh me, uh, you, uh, you are you are local liaison with the with the jolly old man from the North Pole. I understand the first couple of days of uh, Santa Claus on Court Square went well. Yes, they did. Uh, no, uh, the old fat man showed up Thursday night, and we got him seated out front on the throne. And the kids were standing there waiting. I, I, I was just amazed watching them. Got little ones. Yeah. Little ones come up there. Oh, First man. time to see Santa Claus. And they didn't scream. You know, you get a lot of reactions on that first time. You oh, know, you do. Some just take it and, and say, man, this guy's pretty cool. Yeah. And other ones are trying to crawl up, up on top of Grandma or Mama, whoever's got them there. I think we had one of each in my family. One one took it pretty well. One wasn't real sure about it. <laughs> That's yeah. a long time ago, though. Yeah, I've been fortunate so far. It, but we had a first this year. What's that? Uh, the first time this had to happen, we uh, we had a, a youngster up there. It looked like he's about three years old. And um, Santa looked down at him and said, um, well, young man, you know, uh, you look like a pretty nice guy. I says, I bet you've been good all year. And he just kind of looked at me. So mm-hmm. just eyes and yeah and uh i said now what would you like for christmas and um he just went you know Ew. <laughs> and i said excuse me what 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 did did you say you you or at least that's what i thought he was saying yeah so santa looked over at mama over there and says um can you uh, you help me out a little bit here? Says uh, Santa doesn't quite understand what this young man's want for Christmas, and I did not realize that he was a, a foreign language. Ah, and I didn't understand him. He didn't understand me. So Mama went to the you know speaking whatever it was, and then he lit up like a Christmas tree, <laughs> and he commenced to talking, and then Mama told Santa Claus. She, what he wanted. She translated. And then Santa true. Claus asked, uh, you know, he wanted a uh, he wanted a red truck. Oh, Had yeah, to be man. red. Had to be red. Yeah. And once we got all that out of the way, so we got the uh, international language barrier knocked out right there. And uh, it was pretty cool just to kind of do that. Is. We had a long talk. I bet you did. Yes. I bet you did. It, it, <laughs> it was uh, uh, Santa enjoyed that. And lots of yep. lots of little babies and lots of pictures. Oh yeah, you know. And what's wrong with people? They th- I guess they've been rent on some of these right. fake some of these fake Santas. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Who, who in the world would want to charge for getting your picture made with Santa Claus? That's just wrong. A lot of people. You can get your dog's picture made with Santa Claus. Well, I for mean, a small fee. Santa. I mean, yeah. nah, Santa don't need to be charging for no, that stuff. Santa's so. a giving guy. Man. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to come and see Santa Claus, get your picture made, talk to him, carry on a in-depth conversation. <laughs> in any language. To make sure, at, <laughs> at any language. Just to make sure you get it right. Come on down to Court Square, downtown Jackson. What are, right what are, on. What are the times today? Uh, today, Santa will be there from noon to 2 or when we run out of youngins, whichever it is. Right. And then he'll be back again tonight at five to eight, and uh, and then during the week it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights five to eight, 
and on Saturday during the day from 12 to 2. 12 to 2. Okay. That's, so that's so come on out. down. I yeah. mean, you just pull up there. And, and some people, they just didn't have time to stop, so they just honked. Yeah, and waved, well, and I was I was one of those. I was driving through downtown, going to the Ned on Thursday evening, and there was Santa standing out on the curbside, uh, waiting on the Grubhub, I guess, to bring him some food. Well, it could have uh, been. But I, yeah, I honked the horn and 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 waved at him. He waved back. I said, yeah. you know, I, maybe I'll get something after all. Uh, you know, maybe yeah, you never maybe can tell. Never maybe can so. tell. Maybe give us a call this morning. Talk to John Allen. Any problem? you may have or any you may be anticipating. <laughs> That's right. Or just yep. tell me what you want for Christmas. Yeah. that And I'll pass too. it on to the fat man. That's a one-on-one, man. It's four, uh, 410-7560 or 275155. Add the 731 on the front of either one of those, and that'll get you into the box. We are streaming on Facebook at uh, WNWS, uh, so just uh, put that in there, a 101.5 News Talk. Uh, that'll get you where you need to be, and it'll be archived for you to look at later on y'all.com, Facebook. I still just don't understand streaming. It's I know. Magic. I mean, it, it's like I, my mind goes to fishing, <laughs> and I just, I just don't get it. Well, you know, that, that's that's possible. You know, people say something's a little bit fishy going on when we're on the air. Yeah, well, it, right. it, it's just, you know. Yeah, it is. I, well, that's all right. As long as it's there and we got somebody knows what to do and we got him sitting right over here. Yes, we do. Mr. John Rawl is taking care of all that, so we don't have to. I'm so glad. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> All right, what, what else is going on in, in, in your world? Well, you know, this time of the year, we, we are uh, always wanting to know what to get people for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I kind of always thought I'm kind of a practical person, and, and, and I'll flat out tell people, but normally the things I tell them, they don't think about. They had not thought about these things, mm -hmm. that they really need one. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of lean towards being ready when – emergencies happen around the house and and you don't see this stuff on television what i'm fixing to tell you okay and uh when i go into somebody's house and i'm into the well i'm maybe i'm me in the bathroom and they're looking a little remodeling project right and everybody <clears throat> has got one of these but they got the wrong kind it doesn't work i <laughs> And I'm talking about the old average household plunger. Yes. Plumber's yeah. helper, they the plumber's often helper. call it. Yeah. I've seen some of the craziest, cheapest, dinkiest <laughs> looking plungers that won't do nothing. All they do is just go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh and wear you out, but it doesn't get to the problem. Right. To put every house needs a plunger that will work and it'll last you if you get a good one. Yep. It'll last you a lifetime. Yeah, so if you got one of those when you mash on it the first time and the whole rubber thing rolls up on the handle, you got the wrong one. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But now I brought mine this morning. I have one just like don't, that. Don't don't uh, forgive the brown spots on it. It, it was used <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, but TMI, this, uh, TMI. You know, uh, th this one. <laughs> this is a sure enough plunger yes, right sir. here. That's a good one. Now this is the one. That's got this inverted bulb on the end of it right here. You, and uh, you know when you get it in the store, it looks like that. It's flat. Right. But you know it, uh, it will really get a good seal around there. And when you push on it, this little bulb pops out, and to where it focuses, mm -hmm. the action on the on the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down down where you're supposed to be. But you know most people think you're pushing stuff to clear. Yeah. Really. You're pulling on it. It's the suction that you create. Right. Then, right. Okay. What, what I tell everybody to do, don't just go in there and start jumping up and down and pushing on it. Push it all the way in and then gently pull back on it. That's right. when you're going to get rid of your clock. That moves it out, out of position. Yeah. Right? You yeah. want to get it kind of turn around sideways so it can <laughs> squeeze through the crack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You got you got that middle image there. I got the, I got I, I don't know many many people who attempt to imitate what you're imitating. Yeah, you got a you got a roll with the brown stuff. <laughs> oh lordy! But uh, you know, if you get one of these, now it's an economical gift. I mean, we're talking under ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Wooden handle. Yeah. And uh, real sure enough rubber, and you get one of these. 
and you can put one of these in each bathroom, and it's the gift that just keeps on giving. That's right. And uh, but it, it will last you no kidding. This one right here uh, is probably about five or six years old. It gets used daily. It's still a little toilet paper right there. there Who knows? From the last time. <laughs> I thought it was a sticky note. I well, it could be a sticky note. It says this end goes in first. Yes, yeah. right. this side up, right? <laughs> right, this side up, yeah. All right, yeah. but anyway, uh, it's a practical gift. Yeah. And well, people will look at you funny when you give one, and you got to wrap it up the right way. Just put paper over top of it yeah. where it's got the handle sticking yeah. out. Make it keep, obvious. Keep them, yeah. <laughs> but when you give one of these, People will laugh at you. They'll look at you funny, and they'll they'll. Some of them may even get a mean glare. But when, <laughs> but when the emergency happens and you have to have one, and you realize that it knows what it's doing, mm-hmm. they'll they, thank you for it. They're gonna love you, especially after company comes and yep. they have to have it. You know, because you know, get people in your house this time of year, and they're full of it. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And it's mostly your fault. That's so. right. So, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, but anyway, and give, you, give a plunger for Christmas. Yeah, you can also. Uh, I, I, uh, in fact, I had a hand in this one. You have you have a uh, a plunger on display in your office. It's not it's, display. Oh, it's not. I, I thought, use it. Do you? I thought you just still had it on your desk. No, but no. But that no. one is nice because when you get through with it, it smiles at you. I know, and it looks, <laughs> it's even shaped like a yeah. nice little, that, what is that called, it, a, it's an emoji. an emoji? Yeah, the little emoji that everybody's familiar with. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, on the end of a stick. Looks yeah. like a pile of poo with a handle on that's it. That's it. <laughs> but it works. It does work. I took it home to a special spot. Oh, it's in you? my guest bathroom. Oh, yes. impressing your guest. Huh? That's right, okay. yeah. yeah. It was, right. I think it was used the day before yesterday. Excellent. Well, hey, I'm glad to know I got somebody. And that's been a couple, several years. Yeah, it's it the gift been. that keeps on giving it does, to him. It does. <laughs> got a text coming in this morning. You were talking about TSP, trisodium phosphate. Yeah. A little earlier, it says, does TSP work for cleaning shingles also? I, yes and no. But let me tell you what to do. Okay. Uh, when you're wanting to clean shingles or get the streaks off of them, you need something that kind of, mm, let's see how to say this. Uh, it, it's like those commercials with the screw bolts. So if you want something to clean your shingles, add hydrogen peroxide to the mixture because it kind of makes it uh, foam up yeah. and let it sit there for a good 15, 20 minutes and then scrub it off. You don't want to use a fresh washer on your shingles. It'll blow the grit off. Right. And, uh, uh, but if you'll, if you'll put a little 3% hydrogen peroxide like you get at the drugstore or the grocery store or whatever, put that in with your solution, that's going to make it sudsy, but it, it works. Uh, you only want to use the hydrogen peroxide for getting ready to actually get started. And then use it all up because it'll it'll dissipate and break down uh, after a couple of days. But if you'll put a little peroxide in with that TSP, it will work. It will work pretty good, too. There you go, Texter. Thank you for that. We appreciate you listening in this morning. I need to take a commercial break get caught up uh, on that end. With John Allen here on Tricks of the Trade. Give us a call. Give us a text. We need to hear from you today. was the night before Christmas. We're going to be making the most classic bourbon cocktail known to man, the mint julep. It became the official cocktail of the Kentucky Derby in 1938. This cocktail is the Gold Rush. Today we'll be using bourbon instead. Today we're going to make an old-fashioned cocktail, one of the most classic bourbon cocktails there are. And it tastes good for breakfast. With the Kentucky Mule, we are going to swap out that vodka for Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Called the Boulevardier, and we beef up the bourbon because it's Kentucky, and that's what we do here. Now to do a modern twist. 
Sometimes it's hard to do a variation on a classic cocktail because a lot of them are so good. An obvious place to go from there for a variation is a bourbon shake. So now we're going to take that Kentucky Sour and put a very fun, modern edge on it. But if you are the adventurous type, it is a delicious drink. And that is what I call a bittersweet bourbon sour. Cheers. Hi, I'm Allie. At age two, my parents knew that there was something different about me. They were told that my life would not be typical. But Autism Society of America was there to help through all of my journeys. Help make a difference and make a donation. Go to AutismSociety.org. Talked to my doctor and he said he would highly recommend that I go ahead and get a shot. It doesn't only help me, it helps my family around me and all the people I associate with. So you're not only helping yourself, you're helping your neighbors also. Well, you know, I might have been a little bit hesitant to begin with, but after uh, looking at all the statistics and I don't see any uh, anything after you take the shot, everybody seems to get along with it pretty good. So you have a spot, take your shot. This is Arkansas. And so is this, and this. It's a place where your adventures can lead to wonders thousands of feet below ground, or to views high above it all. Arkansas is full of things you've never seen, and things worth seeing again and again. So if you're looking for a place to create legendary stories, or just make lasting moments, it's all right here. This is Arkansas. This is the natural state. Saturday morning, you're listening to Tricks of the Trade with John Allen. Text lines are available to you, 731-410-7560 or 731-277-5155. You can catch us out there on the stream right now on Facebook at uh, WNWS. Just check that out, and you can see what's going on here in the studio. And the, uh, the um, uh, Old Town Spaghetti Store Hotline. The telephone line is open to you this morning at 731-423-8101. Here's the John. You know, I got to thinking about something about Tuesday of this week. Okay. Had to go out to a uh, gentleman's home who was going to have his folks come live with him. You know, and he was trying to fix up a place for him. Well, right. he had this unfinished basement. That was a really nice basement, kind of went out on the hillside and had still had little windows in it and all that. It wasn't totally underground. Yeah. But he wanted to fix it up to have a living quarters for his parents. You know, kind of like a mother-in-law suite, but both yeah. of them were there. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so we got to talking. And a pretty intelligent fella. And uh, we got to talking about dividing up the rooms. And then he wanted a bathroom. And I said, well, we're going to have a little trouble with the bathroom. He says, you're not going to have to tear all this concrete up, are you, to get the lines down? I said, no. What we're going to have to do is put you in a macerating toilet. And that's exactly what he did to me. <laughs> he said, talking that foreign language again. He said, a, a what? I said, we've got to put a toilet in that, that's got a macerating pump on it. Uh-huh. And he said, okay, explain this one to me. I said, well, I know you've seen these in magazines, but it's basically toilets that pump up. And, you know, most all of your plumbing in the house is gravity. Right. Everything goes mm-hmm. downtown. There are three basic rules of plumbing. Hot's right. on the left and cold's on the right, and everything flows downhill. That's right. You know, that's quitting, quitting time's 4 o'clock. And 4 o'clock, yeah. <laughs> But but uh, what they really call these devices are macerating toilets, and they are the toilets that flush up. In other right. words, you have a toilet that just sits on the floor, and the stuff doesn't come out of the bottom of it. It goes out the back mm-hmm. into a little tank, and they don't put this on TV and show you, but there's a little tiny tank. Looks like a toilet tank kind of yeah. that actually you put in your wall, or you can set them on the floor. 
it's just prettier if you put them in the wall. True. And then you'll run a little, you're going out with a, a three inch line, but after the thing grinds all the stuff up, it pumps it out a discharge line that's two inches and it pumps it up. And there's a little check valve put in there to keep, once you start pumping it up, it don't run back down. Right. So, uh, he says, well, what do you got to do to put a macerating pump in there? And I said, well, we're going to have to have a little electricity and uh, it's going to have to have a, uh, a 110 volt plug that we'll have to put in here. So we designed his bathroom and got it to where he can, uh, pump his, get a shower in there. He's going to put the shower on a little platform. And he's got a lavatory, mm -hmm. and he's got a toilet, and you don't have to tear up all the concrete, which will get into you know thousands of dollars plus all of the dust and the dirt oh, yeah. and all that stuff. And it just puts in a little pump right there, so you can just about you know put any room, put a toilet in any room of the house right. if you want to, if you buy one of these devices, and you know a couple thousand dollars for the kit. But it sure beats having to jackhammer up your floors oh, and, yeah. and yeah. all of that stuff. So uh, we're going to start this right after the holidays. And uh, wait a minute. We're not going to say holidays. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, yeah it's Christmas there around you here. You better believe it. So uh, we're going to start that little project over there and uh, put him a little toilet in there where he didn't think he could have one and have a little nice little remodeling project going on right there. So if you ever wondered how in the world you could get a – uh, a, a bathroom in a lower level when all your plumbing lines are up in the ceiling from yeah. the upstairs, all you got to do is buy one of these uh, toilet kits where it pumps it up. And what that's really called, it's a macerating pump system that grinds it up and pumps it out. And uh, pretty simple concept, uh, pretty easy to do to where you can put a bathroom anywhere. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, I had seen over the years, you know, doing house appraisals uh, for as long as we did, uh, I had seen some basements that had been converted, but rather than do that, they, they raise the floors. And that, uh, that just creates other problems because nothing, well, you know, you got you to match it, match it up to the stairs coming down. You got to match it up to the door going outside. It's, uh, I, I like this idea better. Well, there's only one downside to it, and, and I tell people that up front. The, the downside to having one of these toilets that pumps up, it only works when the power's on. If you have a power outage, forget it. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to just go someplace else to go. <laughs> you have to go upstairs. <laughs> they go upstairs. That's yeah. right. But when, uh, when, when the gravity won't help you, you can pump it out. So there you go. There you go. Hey, that's interesting. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to get into another Christmas gift right now. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we did the plunger. Uh-huh. Everybody's got to have one of those. Right. And incidentally, that's a gift for under 10 bucks, a little, little over 5 It's actually about 7 bucks is what it is, and that includes the handle, a real-life wooden handle. With genuine yellow paint. That's right. Yeah. It, yeah, it does come yellow. That way you can find it in the dark. <laughs> that's right. Put a little f f uh, fluorescent paint on there. Oh, it baby. looks like an ornament, you know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta come see your tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's different. Now, another little gift that I tell everybody they got to have. This is something you need in an emergency. I do this every year, mm -hmm. but people forget. Mm -hmm. And that is a water meter key to be able to turn the water off if you spring a leak in the house. Now, I've gone to some of these stores. And I've seen all different kinds of water meter keys. And most of them are so flimsy that you literally will twist them in two and break them off trying to use them. Because a lot of times those valves don't turn as easy yeah, that's for sure. as, as they tell you about, you know. But you can go to a, a, a real-life plumbing store. You know, like here in Jackson, like uh, Kenny Pipe and Supply and, and Ferguson mm -hmm. over here, or uh, uh, B&R, you know, uh, if, if you go in there and tell them you want a water meter key, they'll probably pull this one out right here and show it to you. Now, this is solid steel. It's actually made out of a piece of rebar. Yeah. Yep. And uh, the, the handle on it here is uh, welded on, 
and uh, it's just long enough you can get on both sides of it and really bear down on it. But the the magic, and uh, pardon the mud right here, I used it yesterday too, <laughs> but you got this little horseshoe here on the end that sets right down on top of the cutoff on, mm-hmm. on the cutoff at your street. Now, here's another thing. This happened last week. Lady had a leak in her house, and we had to find the water meter because it's covered in leaves. Mm-hmm. Or this winter, you may have snow or ice. You need to know where your water meter is because if you don't, you'll just be pecking around out there on the ground trying to find it, and all this time water's running in the house. So somehow, however you want to do it, if nothing else, just get a stick and put it in beside your water meter. Find your water meter and know how to cut it off. Now, here in Jackson, we got different kinds of water meters. We got some that you just, you know, that little slot that's down in your meter, it's running like north and south with the meter. Yeah. Some of them you'll turn just a quarter turn towards running east and west, and it'll shut the water off. Right. But some of them you have to keep turning them, and it'll stop at about 11 o'clock, and that shuts the water off. Hmm. And uh, so you never know what kind you got, but you can kind of, if you watch the dial on that water meter, that little center dial, the little bitty one, will be spinning like a top if you got a leak. But when you turn it and you get it off, it'll stop spinning. Yeah. But this meter key right now, now this one right here is probably about 25 years old. And uh, another thing about it, they don't rust. And uh, you keep one of those and keep it handy in your garage or somewhere to where, in, in the event of an emergency, uh, this will this will last a lifetime. And it, it makes a good Christmas present. People will look at you funny <laughs> when you give them one. But uh, it, it's something that really works. And then the last little thing I'm going to tell you about this morning, uh, and it's about gas. You know, if you have a leak in the house or for some ever, whatever reason, you got to turn the gas off in a hurry. Mm-hmm. You know, we tell everybody, call the energy provider, and they will come out, but it takes a while to get there. They can't help it. It just takes time to get there. Sure. And, uh, but if you've got this, this right here is just a pair of channel lock pliers. And uh, if you have one pair of pliers in the house, this is the one, ones you need because they're adjustable, as you see here, but they're great for going out to the gas meter and uh, hooking on the dial and turning it to where it will turn the gas off. If you've got a leak on your drain pipe under any sink, you can open these jaws up to get around that inch and a half pipe. If you've got a water leak and on your cutoff down there, you can adjust it, grab that little nut that compresses down on it, and you can turn it off. These can be used for just about anything around the house. And a good pair of pliers will last you uh, forever. Again, it's probably about 10 bucks. Comes with an insulated grip handle. I have no idea how old these are. I have had them forever. Yep. Uh, use them daily, but uh, just ask for a pair of channel locks. Now, that's a brand, a brand name. This yeah. one happens to have Douglas on the side of it. But I bought these at a plumbing store because you want some that's got some real good metal in it because these little teeth right here, you want some that's got really hardened steel on it to where you can grip down on it. Right. And, uh You know, it's always good to have wrenches, but these being adjustable, you can grab just about any kind of nut you want, and they make a great gift. And, uh, again, they may look at you funny when you give it to them, but when the little emergency comes up and they got to have something to do something with, they're very indispensable. Absolutely. So, uh, anyway, there's your three good Christmas gifts this morning. Another great Christmas idea. Yeah. Yeah. I have a pair just like that, same yellow grips and the whole nine There you go. Yeah. We, uh, we're talking about some storm damage uh, in, in Kentucky and over in Arkansas and apparently some damage uh, from our early callers this morning over near Lexington and uh, Natchez Trace mm-hmm. uh, Park over, over in that area. And uh, if that damage happens to be on one of your metal buildings, there's an easy way to get that thing fixed. As soon as the insurance company gets through doing their thing and you have cash in hand and ready to go, check out Quality Outdoor Products or 
if you just need a building and you've been putting it off, they are the people you need to see because they make it so easy to get exactly what you want. Exactly right. They're right up here in the sovereign nation, the three-way, right up the road here, and uh, got a complete display of their products. You can walk in. You can order what you want. You can get everything matching color, and they got a whole bunch of colors uh, for metal on your on your roof or your building. So if you want a blue roof, just tell them. They'll put you a blue, get some blue metal up or a red one or a green one or just whatever color uh, you might want. They will help design that building, uh, custom make everything for you. And if you're not really sure what you want, and you're one of these visual type people, you can sit down and look at a computer screen, design your own building, put your door where you want it, your window where you want it, get the height you want it, and see what it all looks like before you place the order. And that's when the Christmas magic happens right oh, then. Yeah. You place that order and hit the go-go button, <laughs> and uh, these little helpers out there in the metal buildings out back will start working, and they will... They will fill your order, custom make everything. You'll see sparks flying out there where they're welding, tubing together and get everything just the way you want it. And they'll load it up in your truck to where you can take it home. Or they even have little helpers that will uh, put it up for you if you need to. So any way you want to do it to get the building of your dreams, they can help you with it. They can. And not only that, but if you decide you want to do it yourself, if you're, if you're so inclined, they have a full line of Malco Metal Building Tools that will help you put that thing together and everything will fit like it should. Wow. Amazing. All that in one spot out there at the Sovereign Nation of Three Ways. There you go. <laughs> not too far from where we sit. 888-485-5372. Give them a call. Quality outdoor products going to take another quick commercial break we shall return I'm Allie. At age two, my parents knew that there was something different about me. They were told that my life would not be typical. But Autism Society of America was there to help through all of my journeys. Help make a difference and make a donation. Go to AutismSociety.org. Looking for an easy way to compare bids from contractors you can trust? Search BBB.org for the type of work you need, then request a quote. Just click Get Quotes. You'll soon receive estimates from BBB accredited businesses. Businesses which meet BBB standards of trust. Peace of mind is just one search away. BBB. Start with trust. We're going to be making the most classic bourbon cocktail known to man, the mint julep. Became the official cocktail of the Kentucky Derby in 1938. This cocktail is the Gold Rush. Today we'll be using bourbon instead. Today we're gonna make an old-fashioned cocktail, one of the most classic bourbon cocktails there are. And it tastes good for breakfast. With the Kentucky Mule, we are going to swap out that vodka for Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Called the Boulevardier, and we beef up the bourbon because it's Kentucky, and that's what we do here. Now to do a modern twist. Sometimes it's hard to do a variation on a classic cocktail because a lot of them are so good. An obvious place to go from there for a variation is a bourbon shake. So now we're going to take that Kentucky Sour and put a very fun, modern edge on it. But if you are the adventurous type, it is a delicious drink. And that is what I call a bittersweet bourbon sour. Cheers.
Saturday morning in downtown Jackson, uh, John Allen's Tricks of the Trade here on 101.5. We have, uh, oh, about 15 minutes left in the uh, in the show this morning. Give us a call if you have any questions for John or uh, comments on anything that you want to talk about. 731-277-5155 or 731-410-7560. Get your thumbs warmed up and give us a text there or 423 four, uh, yes, 423-8101 with the 731 in front. That is the Old Town Spaghetti Store hotline. That will get you right into the phone banks. Watch us streaming on Facebook on uh, WNWS 101.5. Archive later at y'all.com. Huh. <laughs> That's a mouthful I'm there, Jim. I'm going to take a nap now. There you go. <laughs> Hey, we got to talk about our last little sponsor this morning. Yeah, and, we uh, do. Yeah, we you know, do. And, I, and I'm talking about economy siding and gutter and windows and doors and patio covers. shutters and patio <laughs> covers, and they do just a little bit of everything. Uh, and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> no, Stormy, oh. Stormy does a great job with whatever it is you need that falls within his purview. You like that one? Purview. Yeah. 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 How about that? Well, well he, he's pretty good at purviewing. Yeah, he purviewed some uh, some leaf guards. You know, every leaf that has blown out of the trees the last 24 hours is on the ground. They're not stuck up there in my gutters. Anymore. Have you looked? I did. I looked as I left home this morning. Wow. Yeah. I used to see one every now and then, you know, but it'll blow off when the next wind comes through. Yeah. So. You know, he, he got half of my house done, or one of the little buildings done. Yeah. And now i got to get him to do the other ones because... You know, those those oak leaves have a tendency to accumulate in the valleys of my house. Yeah, mine too. And uh, they were plumb full this morning. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it it I think whatever leaves were left got blown off last night. Yep. And they're on top of my house. So <laughs> I got to get them clean off so Santa don't slip and fall when his sleigh lands up there, you know, yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah, all your good, all your new plumber. Plumber's items, yeah. I'll bring some. Actually, I don't know if he's stopping for me or not. It's just the missus. She's got quite oh, a quite yeah. a list, yeah. and uh, you know, it, it's it's got to, got to keep her happy. A little you know. something for the dog, you know. Yeah, something. fuzz button needs a bone. Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, he got all excited last night. I did. Oh, <laughs> this thunder and lightning just kind of woke him up, and he was spinning like a top. And yep. It was a. Uh, it was something. I'm telling you. Mine doesn't like the thunder and lightning either, but he's getting, she, excuse me, she is getting to the age now where it doesn't it doesn't bother her as much because it takes an effort for her to get up and be worried. Now she don't do that anymore, so. Well, you know, to each his own, but That's I true. don't really understand all of that. But for when it starts thundering and lightning, mine thinks it's somebody at the door. Mm-hmm. I don't figure that one out. <laughs> of course, that dog's wired a little differently than most of <laughs> anybody. That, so. that breed of dog is wired. That, that a little, tail little curls bit. a little tight sometimes. Yeah, I, think, you I know? think so. But uh, Stormy is Stormy is it, actually that is that's what everybody calls him. Yeah. And uh, if you call him anything else, he probably won't recognize that you're talking to him. So call Stormy out at Economy Siding Windows. Uh, uh, as I said, my house faces west, so I get all the heavy heavy rain. I get the afternoon sun on those windows that Stormy put in. Hey, 10 years ago, maybe mm-hmm. eight years ago, been close to it. And I mean, no problem. They didn't leak last night and they didn't break when that heavy rain hit. So, you know, I'm, uh, uh, everything that stormy has done for me at my house. And it is, it's been several things over the year is put in correctly and they do what they're supposed to do. They look good and they're going to be there a while. Yeah, they are. I mean, the same thing at my house and, uh, and uh, he's done all of that, and then yet we use him just about daily mm-hmm. at at our company because he's one of our fine subcontractors that makes us all look good. And and uh, they'll get out and they'll take care of any kind of need you need to have on your house to to make it weatherproof. They will uh, take care of your face of boards and your gutters and. Like you said, get your windows in, but not only put them in, get them wrapped properly to where they'll shed the water. Right. And uh, then all you got to do is hose them off every now and then. Yep. So I uh, highly recommend people call Economy Siding and Gutter, and uh, they're here in Jackson. They're local, 
They'll come out, get started, get finished, cleaned up, and be gone. You got it. You got it. 731-422-3828 or economysighting.com. It's that easy. And uh, we had a, a would-be texture, and I, I say that because uh, – uh, it appears uh, from my computer screen that someone tried to dial in on the uh, on the text line, and that won't work. That's hmm. for text only. That's the two seven seven five one five five. You can text to that number, but you cannot call that number. If you were trying to call the show, seven three one four two three eight one zero one. That gets you in the phone bank. I know it's confusing. I do it six days a week, and it still confuses me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You brought in a uh, a sack. I mean, yes, it is Christmas, and there are a lot of people running around with sacks right now. But yeah. what what happened? Well, <laughs> it, it, it was kind of funny. I get this call, and um, the call is, uh, can you send your electrician out to fix one of my cords? So I'm thinking, you know, it's a, an extension cord or maybe a power cord to to a, a device of some sort. Didn't really ask a lot of questions. Seems like a little routine situation. So we'll go out there, and I get handed this. It says, can you fix this? Now, <laughs> for the benefit of those that might be uh, viewing on y'all.com or Facebook Live or fishing, I mean streaming, uh, whatever it might be, <laughs> here is what I was handed. Now... This is a mess, and come to find out, it's a computer cord that her new puppy dog <laughs> got a hold of, uh-huh. and it's 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 got all this stringy mess around it like a coax cable. Yeah, and I I just said I'm sorry, but this is a goner. Yep, There's not I enough said, electric tape in the the, <laughs> in the box. I don't have tape. enough tape. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, if your hound dog gets a hold of your cord, now, hopefully when he first bit into it, it taught him a lesson. (laughs) (laughs) But apparently this one didn't get the message because it kept on eating. But, uh, you know, on these electronic devices, sometimes you just got to get a new one. So I guess we're going to send this person to Best Buy today to try to to yep. try to get an appropriate cord for it doesn't even have the end well, on chew, it. He chewed the whole plug off of it. Didn't I mean, it? it this was gone. I mean, I'd have loved to see the expression on his face when that dog bit into this end of the cord. <laughs> this is a 120 volt side instead of the 12 volt side. That dog is now an ornament on the Christmas it tree. Could be. It lights up all night long. Christmas vacation all over again. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We got a call coming in over here. Let's see what the caller would happen. Caller, you on with John Allen this morning. Oh, yes. This is Jimmy John's. I need a sandwich. You need a sandwich? Yes, this is Jimmy John's. <laughs> it is. It is Jimmy John, isn't it? Yeah. Now, can you uh, give me the gifts that John said to get, the practical gifts? I got the plunger, but I didn't get the other two. All right. Well, he, he got the plunger, but he didn't get the other two gifts. Well, the one was a pair of channel locks, and, uh, and the other one was a water meter key. Now, uh, oh, yeah. Got to have one of Say that again. You said you got to have, have one of them. Yep. Well, that, that's all it is. And, and uh, you don't just find this stuff anywhere, the good ones. You got to go to a plumbing store to get them. So uh, they got them on hand down there right on display. All right, then. That's what I needed. All right. Well, you thanks for it. calling. Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. All right. You got it. You want mayonnaise <laughs> on that? <laughs> <laughs> hold the pickle. <laughs> hold the pickle, hold the lettuce. Special orders don't upset us. Why do I remember that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I didn't think about Jimmy John's. That yeah, makes you think of a sandwich. Yeah, That's a can, good sandwich place, we can, too. We can do that. Yeah, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be all right. Yep, absolutely. we got about uh, five minutes left in the proceedings this morning. What else do we need to know? Well, I had a question come in this week that I thought, you know, you never know where some of these questions are going to come from. True. And, and, uh, but they're legitimate questions, and one of them was that people bought an older house. And this was a real old house, built back in the 40s, I believe. That's not real old in my world. but No. You know. But uh, it's an old plaster home and had wallpaper on it. And the wallpaper was uh, dated, very dated. Lots of flowers that were on this wallpaper. And they wanted to know, can you paint over wallpaper? And the answer to that is yes, you can, 
But you don't want to just saturate the uh, paper with paint because it will cause it to turn loose sometimes and yeah. you'll get bubbles in it. It'll pucker. It, it'll pucker. Mm -hmm. That's right. So uh, if you want to get a short nap roller, a real short one, and uh, use that and and go over your walls, your wallpaper, you'll need to cut it in with a brush. In other words, paint around the edges, mm -hmm. roll in the middle, and uh, go over it as quickly as you can not to get it real saturated. Now, you don't have to worry about that too much if it's vinyl paper, but you will have to put a sealer on there in order to get the, the paint to bond. Right. And uh, But you can paint over wallpaper. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Got a text coming in. Doesn't right. have anything to do with wallpaper, but that's okay. Uh, this is his uh, comment. I use Ridex once a month for toilets. What's best to keep sinks draining correctly? One side of the sink always drains better than the other for some reason. You know, there's really not anything that I'd recommend you put in your sinks to keep that from happening. The thing of it is, you don't want to put these drain cleaners that you buy from the store on here. Now, I'm sure there's a lawyer listening somewhere, and I don't mean this bad, but it's it's and it's not really the product's fault. But don't now now Ridex, for instance, that's a good product, and that's good to keep the enzymes like they need to be in your septic tank. Right. I'm assuming this person has a septic tank, otherwise I don't know why they're using Ridex. But if you use products like Drano, uh, Mr. Plumber, mm. or and there may be some others. Now, while they all have their purpose, the drain, the clog in your drain is very seldom in that little gooseneck that your pee trap underneath your sink. It right. just, that's just not where it is. Not there. And you pour that stuff in, and the problem is people don't read the instructions. They think more is better. So what they'll do is they'll they'll fill the sink up with one of these drain cleaners, and it'll and it might you might get lucky it might break free that initial clog, but all it'll do is just push all that sludge right on down the line, <laughs> and about twenty or thirty feet down there after you've turned the water off, it'll sit there in your pipe, and it'll get hard. In other words, it'll create another clog. Yeah. So you know I don't like pouring stuff down the drains and to help keeping them clean. Uh, it's good to flush them. Baking soda and vinegar is about the best thing in the world you can put in there if you want to do anything. You know, you can put baking soda and vinegar in there. It suds up, and it helps flush out a sluggish drain. But when you start getting organic matter in there and hair and all of that, mm, I can't help you right there. You're just going to have to get it out when it gets too much in there. Yeah. It'll let you know when there's too much. That's there. right. I mean, you got one of those problems at your house. That yeah. you got yeah. that one sink that, and, and we have to take drastic measures sometime, but we know what to do. So there you go. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. All right. That's it. Hey, great show this morning. Thanks to you, uh, texters and callers. Always uh, glad to have you along. You're the one that makes it work. And uh, we appreciate you being there with us. We'll do it again next Saturday morning here on 101.5. It's called Tricks of the Trade, and it's all about John Allen helping folks. There we go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's see Santa this week. Yes, sir.